Okay. All right. Yeah. Booger Man's he back. Goes. It's stuck on his hand. He's trying to get. He can't. Can't get it. He's just gonna eat it. Oh no! Oh no! He just, oh, no, he just tucks it. Later. Yeah. Just tucks it in his pocket. So we're we're gonna see if I can still play this. Mayonnaise. That makes I you couldn't. spit just in a straight arrow. In the it does. You can bounce on his head. Okay, you got it. Uh, so. So. What movie, when you were a kid, had an alien in it that scared you? Now hold on, I'll guess. Mac and me. What? We Are you were like, talking did, about did this. I never tell you? You know, that was the thing where I was trying to, I was like, I know we were talking about something, and I kept going on and on about it. You never told me. I was guessing aliens, and then something happened to distract us. Oh, fire in the sky. Okay. I would never have guessed that. Really? I, that one was... Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't even know what fire in the sky is off the top of my head. That one was terrifying. That's the one where they're, like, out in the woods, and... Uh, one of the guys just gets abducted, and he's like in a mucus cocoon thing, and it's just fucking terrifying, because I grew up somewhere that looked a lot like where he got abducted. Yeah. So, if I had to go out late at night, it's just like I was fucking donezo. I thought for sure I was, I was either going to get abducted or eaten by a mountain lion. Those were the two options. <laughs> Given Both the of two, what good. would you choose? Probably just eaten by a mountain lion. You don't want anything going up your butt? <laughs> no, I really don't. Booger! Booger! <laughs> oh, you know what? He called it. He called his shot. <laughs> I had to. I thought it was just... I hope more, more mayonnaise. And it makes a, a mouse noise when you get it. Well, that's what the sound that mayonnaise makes. Oh, okay. I was unaware of the mayonnaise noise. Oh, jeez. He comes back. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Yep. Can't go oh, that geez. way. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I know. I know. It's ruined. Start oh, recording no, see, over. There's a thing right there. I know. I was, yep. I was trying just, to go the other way first. That just. goes up. Vote for the Boogermeister. I would. He looks oh. like a stand-up guy. He's got a fucking gold shiny g cigar, it looks like. It's probably a booger. It's oh, like, you know like, what it might a, be. He probably looks a like Donald cigar. Trump. I wouldn't vote for Donald Trump, I don't think. Like, <laughs> so you, like so if we're doing uh, the 1v1 polling, Trump versus Boogermeister, you're going Boogermeister. Yes. Okay. I just I just think Trump's full of shit. This is our political episode apparently because you okay, watched it last night. Ah, uh, yeah, Trump is full of shit, but man, is it funny sometimes? Like, yeah. There was a while where I I literally didn't understand. I was like, how is he first in the polls? It, it makes literally no sense. I don't understand. And then I saw a few clips of the first debate when like uh, I think it was Rand Paul was criticizing him, like you know. There's only one person on this stage that's slinging mud around. All of us want to talk about the issues. Only one of us is sitting here going, Oh, he's too short. She's too ugly. And then Trump immediately went, Rand, I've never said anything about your looks. And believe me, there's a lot to say. And it was like, Jesus Christ, Donald. <laughs> I think he's just, he's really just doing it just for the publicity. Sure. And if he That's accidentally good. wins, so be it. I don't think he'll make it to the actual... I like to believe he won't. Oh, I shouldn't. Because he's I mean, still, like... like, Ben Carson is coming up, but Ben Carson's not going to fucking make it. So, unless one of the other people down in the fucking ten-man pile come up, like, Trump is still basically the front runner. Yeah. Oh! How did that... See, sometimes I just I just don't get it. Sometimes I just can't look at it. Well, sometimes looking at it's just all you can do. Yeah, but sometimes looking at it's just not enough. You know, look in times guy. like he those, is... what I like to say to myself is, you know, you just gotta look at it. Did you see how mad that guy was? He's pit. Well, he knows he's gonna pop as soon as he like stubs his toe. I was hoping he'd walk back, but fuck him. no, he left. 
He's like, fuck this shit, I'm going yeah. home. I'm gonna go watch Netflix. Fuck, fuck this game. Oh, Netflix. We need to assign new homework. Oh, Netflix. Well, we have to, ass yeah, we have to assign it while Netflix is open so we can see what's what. Well, yeah, I know. But we can I'm also not. just randomly... Oh, uh, son of a oh, fuck. Aw, get hit by a little snot bucket thing. A little snot fuck. Okay, Way here's the password that. for those playing it with along at home. Liver Ghost Yeti. Liver Ghost Yeti. Story of my life. <laughs> Level 1, Boogerville. At least this is the third stage. At least I can feel a little happiness in that. Yeah, you're in like the, the middle of it. You're in the middle of it or the late of it at this point. If I could just... just play it. Would you just play it? You know, sometimes that's all you can do. You would just, would you just play that? Would you just play that? <laughs> Uh, so, my Netflix homework was Goon with Sean William Scott, and it was okay. There was no, nothing I, wrong with it. I thought you'd give it at least an okay. I, it's like, the story it told was pretty good. It just, it was kind of, it was paced weird. It was rushed for a lot of it. I think it could have been longer. Oh, you actually wanted a longer movie, huh? Sure, like, there's this, at some, like, the, the, the girl thing happened real fast. Spoilers, goon spoilers. There's and a girl thing. There's a girl <laughs> thing, and then there was a very sharp division oh, between, cool like, he's on this new team, and now he knows what he's doing. I don't know. There's just a lot of it, it seemed like, you know, if someone else directed this, it probably would have been pretty good. You know, sometimes I will jump directly on somebody, and it won't work. Hitbox things. Hashtag hitbox yeah. things. Uh, oh, I guess since we're talking about the YouTube stuff, or not YouTube, the Netflix stuff, mine was Don't Be a Menace in Cell Central While Sipping Your Juice in the Hood. <laughs> I feel like maybe the, the, is the title funnier than the actual movie? Yeah, spoilers, the only funny thing in the movie is crazy legs. Well, he's got crazy legs. In my opinion, at least. I'm sure if we ever get a viewer base, there, there's going to be some mad ones that are like, He's not the funniest! They're the or only just, funny like, thing. I can't believe he didn't like Don't Be Menace South Central. Dude, the movie's a fucking classic. It's a classic. I, you know, I'll give it that. It's just... It's okay. Did you say you related it to the scary movies? Yes. It's pretty much like the precursor to the scary movies, I think. In my humble jumping into fucking... Just a lake of boogers. <sighs> you know, I wonder, I, I wonder if boogers are... If, uh, boogers are heavier than water. You should be able... Uh, yeah, I might... I might be able to just kind of like float on it, right? Yeah. But they're also sticky. Yeah. So they're gonna like weigh you down. This is what I get for suggesting we play early in the morning. <laughs> this is my punishment. This is it. You're looking at it. I, I will make the promise that we'll make it through Boogerville today though. How about that? That's that's your stance. You're putting your yes. foot down. This is going to happen. Yes, you can't we're gonna find promise. out. I'm assuming we're gonna have to fight the Boogermeister, but spoilers, I can't tell you. Well, you know, we'll find out later. But we will. If I ever make it past stage one. <laughs> now, what's gonna be our policy? Are we? Do we have to beat every game we play? Or is there a point where we can just be like, this is never going to happen? Uh, I think there needs to be a reasonable effort, at least. Like, like Ninja Gaiden. I can't beat that game. It will never happen. Or if we were to do a Punch-Out episode, which might not work, but a Punch-Out episode, I'm not, like, I'm not going to be able to get even through Super Macho Man. Really? I beat Punch-Out. I can get to Sandman. And Sandman wrecks my shit. And once what I did is I was like, look, I just want to know how to fight Sandman. So I used a save state to get myself infinite tries, basically. 
And with infinite tries, I eventually was able to, like, do a weird aggressive strategy on Sandman and get him down. But, uh, and, but then Super Macho Man's like, in order to even learn Super Macho Man, I have to be able to take out Sandman reliably. And that's crazy. Is, is Super Macho Man supposed to be Mike Tyson or something? Because I played no, the Mike Tyson. No, uh... Mike Tyson's replaced with Mr. Dream, but like the the whole regular game ends in Super Macho Man, and then Mike Tyson is a special password that takes you directly to Mike Tyson. Okay. So if you haven't beaten Mike Tyson, you can still kind of say like, "Oh, I beat Punch Out, but I haven't beaten Mike Tyson." Uh, well, I've I've done both. Jesus Christ, you've beaten Mike Tyson? Yeah. You're a monster. Well, I played a lot of fucking punch out back I guess in the day. That makes sense. There's people like to this day who played punch out when they were young who as adults have still not beaten Mike Tyson. <laughs> like Dan Reichert was gonna have a whole series. So Dan Reichert is one of the guys in GiantBomb.com, he's a fucking idiot. I love him, but he's a fucking idiot. Uh, and he was gonna like do this whole setup where he's gonna just keep trying Mike Tyson once every week or two until he beats him, and then he beat him in the first episode. And he was like, "Well, so much for this whole like set we built." Spoilers: I can only get hit one more time. It's true. You got yellow cape. Danger. <laughs> I'm gonna make it out of this zone. I gotta do it. I got. It's gotta be close. You gotta have the eye of the tiger. I'm using physics. I mean, I should beat this game. <laughs> I'm scared of going too as, fast. As, you know, as long as he doesn't look down, he's fine. But when he looks down... See? That's why you don't go too fast. Right that's there. Strategy. That guy was that's waiting. That's strategy. That's tactics. They've done that to me before, where they're like, Guess what, asshole? You went too fast. I remember uh, in the WWE when... The uh, fucking the people with the name. The oh shield. my god! Yes, actually, <laughs> oh. the shield when the when the shield were big and they were around, we, like we noticed that they would do combat roles just at random, and so whenever that happened, we'd call out tactics because they were using special tactics. That's a neat story. And now we're gonna use special tactics next time to take on Boogerville Part Two. Booger!